Hey guys, so it is currently 1.06 in the morning and I am attempting to try the camera obscura project in my brother's room since it's a big enough room and it has a really good window seeing from the outside. So now we're moving on to the materials. So some of the materials that I will be using is thick black trash bags, duct tape, painter's paint, joint paper plate. I mean, tape, thumbtacks, white paper for the image to get an even color surface, and foam, and also my scissors. So now I'm going to show you the room and how big it is and what I want to do to it. So from this wall to this wall, it's 13. From this wall to this one, it's 11. And from the floor up is 9 feet. So my idea is to put this white butcher paper from the top of the shelf all the way to the bottom. And this is where our light source is going to come from once I bring up the blinds and cover them. So I know I will have to block all light sources from this room. So even though these windows are tinted, I'm still going to block the light out from them and cover the windows up with cardboard, plastic bag, and get the most light out. So it is currently 124. There is no sun out right now. But I'm going to get started and put the butcher paper on the shelf and have something ready so when... So I can be ready for tomorrow. Okay, so it's currently 2.07 in the morning. And I just turned my background white. So now we're going to take a big black thick trash bag and cut it up. And cover both of the glass doors. Okay, so now that we turned our background white, uh, we also covered the glass doors with black thick trash bags so now there is no light coming through there and our last project is to do the windows and it is currently 310 okay it is 315 in the morning and i decided to do something different to the glass doors i still left the black trash bag on except now i added a drape or a drop so it's like a cape for the door. So this is what we've done so far. We made a white backdrop so we can get a clear image. And we changed the doors, the glass doors. We taped them up with some trash bags and then added a cape. I used the thumb, thumb tacks to secure the bag on top. Okay, so because we finished what we had to do today, we are going to wait tomorrow morning, wake up early, and pack up the windows, and hopefully we can get an image. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hi guys, I'm back and it's 10.52 in the morning. It is Tuesday. And I just finished um, finish up the windows, and I'm going to show you how it looks. Okay, so this is window number one, and it is covered with a black trash bag. And there's cardboard underneath. Um, so this is how window number one looks. And window number two is the same thing on the other side. Except I'm not going to be using this window, so I just closed down the blind. And I put an extra bag here for the edges because there was light coming through. And there's also the foam piece along the bottom edge. So now I'm going to give you a tour of the room and show you how much light we actually block out and the finished product of how it looks. Okay, so this is our white background. 
where we want the image to show. The glass doors have been covered up. And the two windows. Now we're going to turn off the lights. Okay, so I just turned off the flash. I'm going to go turn off my laptop. And you're going to see how much light actually comes. So this is the white background. This is the glass doors. And here are the windows. I can we can see a little light right there. But other than that, I think we did a pretty good job. Okay, now that I showed you the final product of the dark room, now I have to cut out a peephole where I want the image to show and where the sun is going to hit on the image and hopefully portray the image on the white on the white screen and we're going to see it upside down. So right now we are at the window. I have my scissors and I'm going to make a circular pinhole or peephole so we can get the image going down on the white screen. Okay, so I just finished cutting out the circular hole for our image to show hopefully on the white screen. So I'm going to turn off the light, give it about 20 minutes to adjust, and I'll show you the image. Okay, so with the lens that we created, um, it did show the image on the white screen, except I couldn't really take a picture of it because then it would disappear. And so what I decided to do to make the image more clear and a little bit less fuzzy, I'm going to make the lens, the lens hole size smaller. So what this is what I just did. So I patched up the hole that we just created with tape and some thick um, glitter paper. I mean, come on. Glitter saved the day today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these um, thumbtacks and make the a circular punch right in the center of this paper and hopefully we can get a clearer image on the white screen okay so what i just did i got the thumbtack and sticked it through and punched through all the layers and now i'm just going to remove it and now we have a small pinhole right there we have a new pinhole i'm gonna see if it shows on the white screen it's currently 120 something i think and I'm going to turn off the light. So here we go. We're going to see and wait for another 10 to 20 minutes. So I end up changing the size of the of the lens, of the pinhole. It made it a little bit smaller and I made some adjustments. And this was the best um, out of all of my trials that I did. And it did show a really clear image on the white screen. So thank you for watching my vlog, and if you made it this far, thank you. Um, so this was my attempt of making my own dark room and trying to make a camera obscura and, and show an image on the white screen. And overall, I had success, and it was really fun, and yeah.